Oi pessoal, so I finally found some time to make a new video and this time we'll continue talking about body parts. It will be the video number two because in the first one I talked about face. So before we start I want to make a connection between the last two videos, one about face and the other about colors. I want to talk about colors of hair and the eyes. So. I want to teach you this using some phrases. So the first one, you can say, Ele tem olhos azuis. He has blue eyes. That's perfectly fine. The second one, Os olhos dela são verdes. This is also okay, but when I say, meus olhos são castanhos. I didn't use marrom the way I told you in the previous lesson, but when you refer to the color of the eye or color of someone's hair, you say castanho instead of marrom. This is part number one. And the second part about hair, you can say Ela é loira, or ele é loiro, for blonde hair. When talking about red hats, you can say Ele é ruivo. Eles são ruivos. The third one, now back to me, you can say that someone's hair is brown. Ela tem cabelo castanho or Ela é morena. Morena is brunette. And we say gray hair in Brazil in two different ways. You can say cabelo grisalho or cabelo branco. For example, Minha avó tem cabelo branco. O cabelo do meu avô é grisalho. Another color that you'll find here that it's something like, not exactly, but similar to hazel, is olho cor de mel. Cor de mel means uh, color of honey. And that's another color for your vocabulary. So, with that being said, let's go to part one of body parts. So, below the head, the first thing we're going to talk about is neck. In Portuguese, pescoço. O pescoço. The second one, shoulders. Ombros, os ombros, or o ombro, for single shoulder. The collarbone we usually call clavicula, a clavicula. Chest in Portuguese, peito, o peito. You can also say Thorax, if you're referring to the region. Back, in Portuguese, as costas. Costas. Belly button, in Portuguese, is umbigo. O umbigo. Over here, we also have braço. O braço. Then, cotovelo, o cotovelo. This part here is called antebraço, o antebraço. Here we have our wrists. In Portuguese, you can call it o pulso or o punho. These two in Portuguese are called Mãos. 
as mãos. For singular, a mão. And they are called dedos or dedos da mão. You see in the next lesson that we also call the toes dedos. But instead of dedos da mão, dedos do pé. But we will have to talk about this later because this is where our lesson ends. Tchau, tchau!